Central Organizations of Police Specialists and Crooks unboxing video. Cops was a short-lived two-season animated series that debuted in 1998 and probably the most creative and fun piece of copaganda I've ever seen. <laughs> It was a very colorful and stylish cartoon, imagining a pretty optimistic view of the future with bumbling criminals and an honorable police force that was dedicated to the public. There was also a line of action figures in a 15 issue comic series published by the folks at DC. The lovely people at Fresh Monkey Fiction and the delicious designs of the brilliant Eric Lee, Eric 3D on the gray, released a full color limited run of five beautiful Keshi style figures, along with a muscle pink set that I got here. Hello. Oh. And a uh, like mantis colored green set that I also purchased because I like wasting money. Back there is beautiful. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Stylized take on these guys. It's like a stylized take on a stylized take. Very interesting. All right, we don't need that anymore. All five of them there. Great colors. Look at this. Up first, we have the leader of the cops, Bulletproof. Bulletproof? AKA Baldwin P. Vess is a federal agent who founded and leads the cops. He was grotesquely named by Big Boss's henchmen, causing him to need cutting edge cybernetics there in his chest and a little bit of luck to survive. Oh. A fun fact about this guy, Bulletproof is the first African American leader in the history of American animation. Wow. I like his, uh, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall style curly Q there on his hair. Hey, yo. Next here at the cops, we got Long Arm. Long Arm, AKA Sergeant Patrick P.J. O'Malley is a beat cop and a sixth generation police officer. He serves as the second in command of the cops. Having never fired or even drawn his gun in his life, Longarm is very proficient in the use of his signature weapon, the power cuffs, which you can see here. A handcuff that is fired as a projectile from the wrist. Very classic. He's even Irish. You see that little fancy there on the boots? Little spats action. Fantastic. Up next is our first crook here, Dr. Bad Vibes, the mad scientist. Fantastic. That Yu-Gi-Oh! anime style hair is kind of ahead of its time in the 80s. Dr. Bad Vibes, real name Dr. Percival Percy Cranial, is a genius but utterly deranged scientist. He has a glass dome on top of his head, which shows his abnormally large brain. And he is known to create literal brainstorms by charging electricity through his brain waves to form a cloud that can produce rain, thunder, and lightning. He makes robots and machines for Big Boss's various schemes. This head here is fantastic with the domed brain in there. It's a little different in the uh, monocolor versions. It's actually removable. So we can see his brain. And we got a little crack on the dome there. Pretty dope. Up next is the leader of the Crooks, Big Boss, with his pet Scratch. Look how fat this guy is. And that cane. Oh, this is a great, great figure here. Beautiful. AKA Brandon Babel is the super obese leader of the Crooks and rules them with an iron hand literally. Uh, his hand was destroyed after a freak's accident causing a need for a cybernetic replacement. The cartoon had him doing a pretty good Edward G. Robinson impression, looking a bit like the old-timey actor as well, which they've carried over here. Big Boss even utters the characteristics ma and she as he speaks. He's a pet weasel here, Scratch, also cybernetic due to the same freak's accident. Awesome guy. And last but certainly not least, my favorite out of all of these guys, Buttons Mega. This guy is straight out of the 20s, Prohibition era gangster. 
Real name Constantine Saunders. He looks as close to film noir as this show is ever gonna get. Speaks very softly and coldly in the cartoon. He looks a bit like Dr. Vad vibes, but they didn't really carry that over here. This guy has a little bit of a Stallone thing going. Look at that butt chin there. He's got a suitcase here for his gun. And then the other gun's under his chest. I love this detail of that knife right there. Didn't think a guy made out of guns would carry a knife. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. So comparing to our muscle figures, I got Rikishi here from Kindikuman. These are a little way more stylized. The legs and feet are about the same, but there's a lot of uh, hard, harsh angles here and no necks. <laughs> Fantastic. All in all, this is a really great line. I really recommend you guys picking it up. Here's the key version again. Cops and Crook, Fresh Monkey Fiction. Check them out. And check, check out uh, Eric 3D, Eric Lee. He's a super talented guy. Shout out. <laughs>